behind me is the world's fastest Acura Integra. And today we're gonna interview the owner and see what it's like to go down the strip at nearly 200 miles an hour and run the quarter in 7.7 seconds. So we're here with Miles, the owner of the world's fastest Integra. You ran a 774 yesterday. Yeah, 774, 187 last night. Yeah. Unbelievable. So what can you tell me about this car, the engine, the build? So I guess we can start in the fun part. Uh, Extreme Turbo Systems built this manifold a couple years ago, built me this turbo kit. They don't build anything for Hondas, but I've known the owner there, JR, for so many years that he, I was like, hey, like I want to build this, and he's like, all right, cool, we can build the manifold, so build the manifold, up pipe. It's got a Precision 8085 next-gen turbo on it. Uh, so far, the most boost I've seen is about 79 pounds of boost. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Started this year. Um, I ended last year with a running and driving car still, so I have a spare stock cast block motor essentially, so it's a cast block that's been sleeved and upgraded, right? Well, this is actually a bullet engineering billet block now. Gotcha. So this is a billet block, it's full wet block, so that means that water runs through the block and goes through the head. Uh, BME rod and piston combo stock crank, GSC valve train on the, on, in, the head, on, in the head, so GSC cams. Uh, valves, valve springs. The valve springs actually have little logos on them that they etched for me that says I'm not racing that Integra. <laughs> and, and That's it awesome. That, and it has that logo etched into the valves, the valves, the retainers actually. So it's super cool. And then this is a, new for this year is a Moab four piston cylinder head. Gotcha. That's new. Uh, we'll go on to the intercooler side. So the ETS, five inch intercooler. It's 12 tall, 26 long, five inch thick. We'll go to the Skunk 2 intake manifold. Eight ID 2600 CC injectors, a Magnus mechanical fuel pump bracket with a 12 GPM aeromotive mechanical pump. It runs on straight methanol. Wow. So, and it has two fuel, uh, two tanks. So this is a surge tank. There's a 5.8 gallon tank under the car in the rear that's fed, feeds this. And I learned the hard way the more power I started making, the more fuel flow started happening to then turning into needing. Like this was an add-on after, like I needed a bigger vent, so I ended up learning that the hard way. Um, it runs on Motec M1, uh, M150, with a John Reed Racing ECU firmware package, essentially. And Are you not worried about the size of your brakes here? You know, I used, so it's interesting, even though the car's heavier now, uh -huh. when it became all-wheel drive, the car stops better. Gotcha. What, what does this weigh, approximately? Uh, last night, when it went the 774 at 187, uh -huh. it was 2735. Gotcha. Wow, but that's light. I took, it's light, but it's heavy for a Honda. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I took all the interior out, which usually just drops about 70 pounds. Mm -hmm. um, All-wheel drive system, that's kind of a cool part. So, Speed Factory built the billet bell housing, and there's a drag cartel uh, billet T case, which you could, you could see kind of under right there. It's that guy connected there. Drive shaft shop, 5.9 fronts. Drasha shop, uh, rear axles, two-piece carbon drive line, and then it uses a parts of like a 99 CRV transmission. No way. Yeah. <laughs> so it uses like base parts, parts. Yeah, like yeah. Not the whole thing, but obviously this has a billet bell housing, a billet transfer case, but it's all based off a 99 CRV, which I also have that I daily. So no that's way. That's drivers. pretty cool. Yeah, so, and then it uses a like an 89 Civic Wagavan rear end and a viscous coupler. And then you change the viscosity in the in the coupler, and that changes the power front to rear essentially. Gotcha. So like here's the little baby diff right here, and this is this is my new one that my buddy Aaron. That's tiny. Aaron built me. So this actually has an upgraded ring and pinion now. The factory ring and pinion is quite small. This is to the rear diff. This is pretty small. Yeah. Wow. So and this. The fluid that I have in it is what they call 60K, so it's just the thickness of viscosity. And at a thousand wheel on our dyno, it's 50, it's 500 horse to the front, 500 to the rear. Okay, gotcha. So it's about 50 50 split with that viscosity fluid and stuff. But before we continue, I'd like to give a huge shout out to the sponsor of today's video, GiveMeTheVin.com. If you're looking to sell your car, make sure to check out GiveMeTheVin.com. I've got a link in the description below that'll give you a cash offer within minutes for your ride. GiveMeTheVin is actually one of the largest wholesalers in the United States. They're buying cars from Hyundai's to F 150s, even up to Lamborghinis. In fact, they're the largest 
wholesaler of Lamborghinis in the United States. The awesome part is they'll guarantee they'll beat CarMax's offer, otherwise they'll send you a check for $100. And if you use the link in the description below, they'll add $500 to your cash offer. So click the link in the description to go to GiveMeTheVin.com. <laughs> So yesterday, shook the tires really hard, which it normally doesn't do. Um, what that really comes down to is they're, this is a slick car, so slicks need wheel spin, a little bit of wheel speed to make them work. Radials, you can't really spin the tires. Once they spin, they can't hook, so it's a it's a in-between radial and uh, slick prep. So, shook the tires real hard, sent it down the track. On shutdown, I'm like, man, this thing doesn't sound right. Well, it broke, <laughs> it literally broke the end piece off of the, wow. the differential itself, which I had to shoot something through this it hole. Did. It basically shot, shot the end of the, the diff house the case out. So, wow. I'm hoping I can fix this, but probably not. Maybe my, my guy Brad at the shop hopefully can. So this is a test tranny that I was trying out and tranny looks like it's done pretty good. I had quite a few passes on it. But this is the second one I broke, and it's obviously it's very, very, very thin right where it started yeah, yeah. breaking. So was it the tire shake? Was it a combo both? I don't know. So. But Texas 2K, you got spare parts and it's put back together already. Yeah, that's it is. unbelievable. Yeah, well, doing roll race now, so <laughs> right, watch how fast the bumper nice. goes on. It's like a quick release. Yeah, well, then there's a lot of bolts and a lot of a lot of gorilla tape too. <laughs> I can see that. Still factory dash, there's not a whole lot in it, unfortunately. I wish- That's a good I, test. I wish I still had, you know, AC, uh, defrost, stuff like that would be super cool, but I don't. Uh, glove box is functional, does work. There's a bunch of random shit in there. <laughs> so there's that. Um, factory dash, I had a carbon dash. I really disliked how it looked, unfortunately. Okay. So I, I don't have a dash in it, or I got rid of it. Um, this is a little cluster, a guy's name, race dash, race dash design makes and it's a little uh just an insert that bolts in motex seat 125 dash uh race grade 15 PD pdm uh the 15 pad uh keyway how many of those uh, buttons do you use when you're racing uh start uh-huh that every once in a while anti-light this the no i don't use it anymore i don't i don't use it because it's like you gotta push over here yeah yeah the drink button does not push this out that would be super cool for my starbucks <laughs> that would case. be good this actually activates a clutch valve so gotcha. when i go to launch it it follows a spurt, kind of a certain procedure there so how many speed transmission is this it's a four speed well factory they're five speed this is a four speed gotcha and it, and it right now i have a, a lockout on a reverse so i can't go in reverse so that i don't when I shift from second to third, it doesn't try to go in fifth. It yeah, yeah. Exist. And then is this for the parachute right here? This is actually staging brake. Oh, okay, gotcha. So this is a lot like a, to hold hold the car back and sure. preload it. Parachutes right here. You just okay, gotcha. Hit it like that, and off you go. What and kind of fuel does this thing run? This on? runs on uh, M1 methanol. Wow. Yeah. And approximate power? Uh, fifteen hundred wheel, probably somewhere in that wow. range. Wow. Yeah. Thing and then moves. The, the door bars all come out, so they're swing out door bars. Gotcha. So. You can get in and out of it really easy when they're open, or if you take them out, you drive one, drive the car around, you're not stuck in this whole car like that. So. Well, good luck today. You're doing Thanks, some man. roll racing. I yep. thought you were well, just dragging. So that, Well, I'm I'm an overachiever, so I try to get a little <laughs> bit of everything. So we've seen a 774, but hopefully we see a 200 mile an hour uh, That would be a, yeah, the, honestly, if I go 200 in the roll, that'd be super cool. Uh, if I go 200 in the quarter, also super cool. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Cool, Thanks, man. man. Thanks, man. Appreciate it.